Hello, my name is Stephanie Nolte. I'm a physical therapist at PT Connections here in Pueblo, Colorado. So I wanted to share with everyone some um, tips about posture. So a lot of people are aware that they might have some bad posture, but they're not necessarily aware of how they can go about fixing it or if there's even potential for them to fix it. And most people in their life have come across, whether it's an elderly family member or just someone they've seen in public that is really terrible posture, usually kind of with a walker, and they're kind of in a fixed posture. Because if we allow ourselves in a fixed posture over an extended period of time, years, then the body really can't correct out of it. So in that extreme uh, circumstance, people want to look up, they kind of have to bend their knees in order to look up and they can't right themselves in the spine. So what we want to do is educate people so that they don't let it get to that extreme throughout their lifetime. So early on, um, especially people that have desk jobs or they're sitting, they're gamers, things that like to bring you into this forward position, the more you get out of that position and give yourself a break from being forward, the less like you are to get stuck in that position. And when I say stuck in that position, it's a change that happens over time where the bony pieces of the spine that stack on top of each other begin to bend a little bit and muscle structures take us into that bend. But over time, we start grinding down and wearing our bony parts where they get stuck in that forward bent position and we can't correct back out of it. Early on, if you're young enough and haven't worn down your joints, which mm, any time before you're 30, you still have excellent potential to change that. After 30, we already, most of us start showing signs of arthritis and uh, bony deterioration. Doesn't mean it's too late to fix it by then. It just means there's changes already happening. But so our muscle structures that take us into it, they can get into a tight, tense habit of being in a forward leaning position. So the more you get yourself out of that position and remind your muscles to hold your bony structure upright, that's how we maintain a good and healthy posture. One of the ways to check and know, well, what is my posture um, supposed to be like? How far back should I be able to extend or get vertical? You can find a nice flat wall and put the back side, your glutes, against the wall, the back of your shoulder blades and your head all pressing up against the wall. Now, I would say a majority of people can do this, but sometimes people get there and they can't quite get their head to touch back. So if you're in that circumstance, now if you were really worse off, you might not even be able to get the back to touch back. But if you have a hard time getting the head back, you would just start to work on your muscles that bring you back in that direction to try and get your head to eventually touch the wall. Now I did that in just a moment's time, but truly that could take weeks of practice and work to do to accomplish that. Now the next step, after you get to there, for some people you'd go, oh, that's easy. I can get my backside, my shoulder blades, and my head to touch the wall. What's next? So what's next is you should be able to touch your, your arms, the back of your hands, and your elbows to the wall. And if you can get them to touch there easily, then the next piece is to slide up, maintaining contact with the wall the whole time, touch the hands overhead, fingertips make contact, and then slide back down the wall. Now if that's easy, your posture is in pretty good condition. You don't have to work on it too much. But if doing that is difficult, it might take even as little as five repetitions of going up and down before you go, oh my gosh, my muscles are exhausted. I need to work on that every day to keep my posture in a good upright position and teach my muscles how to be strong in that direction so they know how to hold me there every day of the week. Um, if you got your three points of contact along the back and the spine, but the arms don't quite reach, well then your work is gonna be working towards the wall, trying to get the arms back, which might be a slow progression over time to get those arms to make contact with the wall. Again, it might be weeks worth of time before they're flush against the wall, but that's your target. So, I hope that helps you. If you want more specific uh, tips on what to do and how to correct posture and feel better in your um, ideal alignment, you're welcome to give our clinic a call and our phone number is 719-565-6678.